So when I first got to Sacramento State, I was about like, just get in and get out. No internships, no clubs, no frats. It's so expensive already. My first day of uh, orientation, this woman named Angeliza at a booth. I was like, hey, like sports? Sure. Do you like free stuff? Oh, heck yeah. Here, sign up. As I'm signing up, she's like, what's your major? I go, I go film. She's like, oh, you know, we're trying to expand out our video. How would you like an internship doing filming stuff? And I go, ah, oh, I have to think about it. So I went home and I thought about it and I was looking at the card. I said, you know what? Why not? We did a couple videos, promo stuff for, for Green Army to promote the games. Like, hey, come out this weekend. There's gonna be a basketball game. There's gonna be a football game. And then as I was doing those things just for fun, another department said like, hey Bryson, would you like to do some highlights for us? No, oh, sure. Just come to the games, shoot some videos and throw some music on it. We'll get it done. It was all because I said, why not? Why not just try different opportunities? And then I got another call from CBS 13 News. They're like, hey, we're hiring. And would you like to sign up for this? Like, sure. So I did that for three years, became a director. I did camera first, and then audio, and then I did technical directing, and then I did regular directing. And I was doing the morning shows, I was doing the late shows. It was all fun. CBS 13 News really built my professional career style of how I am with directing. And then they're like, we're gonna go automated. So all part-timers, maybe look new jobs. And the stars aligned and Sac State's like, hey, we're hiring. Would you mind applying for this job that was your internship that you created? And I go, okay, sure. Why not? Why not? And I did that. So we all know that it takes a team to do broadcasts. I obviously can't do it alone. So I just needed help. So I had volunteers beforehand, but I felt really bad that I couldn't give back, you know, and it was hard to come up with money in general to pay for stuff, to pay for people. And I felt really bad about that. So I asked around and I talked with a couple of coordinators in different departments, different colleges at Sac State, and they were saying, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this. Like, what about like an internship program? And there is one, but there wasn't created one for this internship with athletics, with real broadcasting. On campus, there's no other real life opportunity for broadcasting of this caliber. Sacramento is top 20 market for live broadcasting and news. From this internship program, you can definitely take away real life experiences through broadcasting. The day that you have a perfect production is the day you can retire. But we're getting by of what we have right now, what is provided from the university, what we can do. I mean, this industry is about doing what you can and adapt to the situation. Whether it be less than the cameras you have, less than the people that you have, less than the microphones you have, less than the wires you have. You gotta kind of adapt to it and become better on your own sense. Money is always an issue for sure. So to improve it, I guess more awareness of the internship program. The more bodies we have, the more we can expand it and kind of show how important it is. What an asset it really is. It really goes under the radar of very behind the scenes looks. The most rewarding part of this position is the relationships that I have with either my interns, the different athletes across our conference that I talk to. It's the relationships that you make and that's the most rewarding part. I don't know what the future holds. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty strong in this one. I feel pretty fulfilled. It's not easy, it's not difficult either, but it's rewarding of itself. It's about giving opportunities for people that were, I didn't have opportunities like this growing up. I wish I had someone to do that, but now I'm the person that does that. My name is Bryson Natano. I am the Digital Media Specialist here at Sacramento State. Stingers up. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You wanna be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You wanna be where Everybody knows your name You Roll out of bed, Mr. Coffee's dead The morning's looking bright